Hello, my name's Sean Parks, and this is a Peter Kutcher presentation for Dr. Wendell McMurdo as an introduction to my photographic practice up to now and my progress on the MA, my intentions for the final major project. My first two slides are indicative of my background in photography, which was mainly aviation photography at air shows and uh, generally around RAF airfields due to my Air Force background, my father being a serving Royal Air Force policeman, included 20 year period working at Paris and Farmer air shows. I enjoyed taking the camera with me whenever I travelled and experimented with landscapes in colour and black and white. This image is of Kiddiebegs Harbour in Ireland, which is a working fishing port with commercial and leisure uh, marine activity. I started looking for opportunities to take unusual photographs in landscape photography and the current slide shows the walls, the glass walls of the Harper Concert Hall in Reykjavik Harbour in Iceland and is the reflection of the superstructure of Navy vessels in the port of Reykjavik. Further travels took us to New Zealand in 2016 where we were able to view representations of Maori architecture, heritage and culture including the ceremonies of welcoming visitors to their villages and uh, domiciles and also their open barbecue practices where they had huge communal feasts. I also started experimenting in low light photography such as this example of a photograph of a cyclist in the graveyard of the church where William Shakespeare is buried in Stratford-upon-Avon. This gentleman turned out to be a documentary photographer who was documenting the lives of homeless people who lived in the churchyard. As a former rugby player with a passion for the game, I've combined my passion for the game with my photography by acting as team photographer for three of my wives' rugby teams, including her university team where she's twice the age of most of the players and regularly was picked for the university's first 15 rugby team prior to her retirement last season. As a working semi-pro photographer, I've also worked with two local bands covering both gigs and generating promotional work for their social media and website promotional activities. I've also covered some weddings, although I'm very selective as to which weddings I cover due to my disability. I don't want to let people down. I'm now going to look at some of the work I've produced for my MA projects and here in the first slide we see a permaculture farmer called Hannah who operates a farm at Scuddington in Lincolnshire and here she's seen cleaning the chicken's eggs before she delivers them to her clients. Everything she does is about restoring quality to the land. In the module on collaboration and professional locations, I looked at scars on the landscape. And here we see a monochrome photograph of the Lincolnshire countryside, scarred by numerous pylons, telegraph poles, and uh, indeed roads as well. I produced these in black and white to emphasise the starkness of the image. In the module on sustainability, I decided to shoot the project whilst we were on a family holiday in Ireland. As such I had no fixed itinerary but I had an idea of what I was going to shoot, mainly derelict buildings of all kinds, both uh, dwellings and religious locations which we encountered on the way. Also in the sustainability module I looked at other ways of reducing my carbon impact, not just in reducing the amount of travel but also in printing in particular. So I bought an Incotag printer with refillable tanks rather than using plastic cartridges, I use recycled paper and I print in draft mode far more often. During the course of the MA I've tried to improve my landscape photography and I'm now paying much more attention to the theories of composition to get much more balanced and better photographs. Through the course I've found that studying other landscape photography practitioners has given me a far better insight into taking better photographs. I think my photographic practice generally has increased and improved over the course of the MA programme. Exposure to some of the great photographers and to other lesser known photographers and studying how they've approached their photography and the considerations they take into account when establishing shots and composing shots has been a great uh, bonus to my photography as well. Turning now to the FMP, I intend to look at how my disabilities have impacted my photography, the practical impacts they've had as a photographer, effects they've had on my mental health and my outlook and how the world appears to me as a disabled photographer. How the world appears can be very different depending on how I'm feeling at the time. 
in the FMP, I will also look at how I feel as a photographer. In certain circumstances, you can feel different to able-bodied people. You can feel marginalised, you can feel ignored, you can be made to feel as insignificant and irrelevant in certain situations, which can damage your mental welfare. As well as looking at how my physical disabilities can affect my mental health, and my actual physical ability to operate as a photographer, I should also look at how my physical disabilities and mental health can actually affect how I look at the world and how I decide to photograph it, sometimes consciously, sometimes subconsciously. I will also look at collaborations in the world of disabled photography societies such as the Disabled Photographer Society in the UK. I will look at collaborations, I will look at where people have adapted equipment to overcome physical problems, for example, photographing from a wheelchair and not being able to use a tripod. I will also take a look at other disabled photographers and their practice, how their disabilities have influenced their work and how they've chosen to depict their disabilities within their work, to see what influences they've had and how they've adapted those influences to colour, literally in some cases, their photography. And finally, at least for the purposes of the Petra Kutcher presentation, my research will take a look at all of the aspects I've already mentioned, how physical disability can affect mental health, how mental health can affect how we see the world and how we decide to photograph it. The research will also incorporate talking to other photographers with disabilities to see if their experiences are similar to mine.